heart went Today, we're going to learn two new kinds of configurations. Aside from the series and parallel circuits that we previously learned. Okay, so these two kinds of configuration, hindi natin sila ma-identify whether they are series or parallel. Thus, they are named as delta and y because of their uh, similarity dun sa itsura ng mga letters natin like delta and the letter y. So we have here our y connected or y connection. So a y connection consists of a common node with three branches connected to it. And then these three branches are connected to other parts of the circuit. Even if this um, even if this setup is not connected to a complete network, we can still say that this is a y connection because of the common node and the three branches available, right? But if you're going to notice, we've had Ys in our circuits before, yung mga na-solve na natin dati. May mga part ng branches doon na considered Y na agad, but we did not use um, formulas for Y to delta conversion that times kasi kaya pa naman natin siyang isimplify using the series and parallel connection. But if in case you encounter a circuit wherein, para bang dead end, um, hindi mo maalis yung Y connection doon because we, you cannot identify a part of it which is in series with or in parallel with it. Kaya naman, we use formulas for Y connection. On the other hand, we have here a delta connected circuit. But kung ito lang yung itsura ng circuit natin, it's not connected to a complete network. Hindi mo siya pwedeng i-identify as delta ka agad. Okay, so ang requirement ni delta, for it to be delta, it should be connected to a complete network. Pero kung ito lang yung circuit mo, this is not considered a delta kahit pa itsura siyang triangle or ka-shape niya si delta shape or si, de si delta character, ano? It has to be connected to a circuit for it to be considered a delta. Pero kung ganito lang yung circuit mo, this is simply a series loop. Le correct? So, before this becomes a delta, dapat yung nodes in between the, resisto the resistances, so, between B and C resistor, you have node A in there, Dapat nakakoneksya to another part of the circuit. So, let me draw a branch connected to that terminal. Ano? So, you have a branch here. And then, this is another branch. This is connected to another part of the circuit. And goes the same for node C. So, as you can see here, hindi mo masabi that this is series. Diba? You cannot say that A is in series with C because of the presence of a node. And then, you cannot identify that A is in series with B because of the presence of node C which is connected to another part of the circuit. At the same time, hindi rin naman natin masabi na parallel sila, di ba? If you're going to look at A and C, yes, um, tigisa nung resistors connected in one node, but the other ends are on different nodes. So, they are not parallel. Thus, in this configuration, we call that A, delta configuration. So, note... Uh, please note that these arrangements or these configurations are based on what is given in your lecture manual. And this may be different on other reference books. Paano magiging different? Siguro iba yung representation ng resistances ng ibang libro. It's not using ABC or it's not using XYZ for Y. Or pwedeng magkapalit, magkapalit. Pwedeng ito yung XYZ na kay Delta, pwedeng ito yung... Um, A, B, C na kay Y. So, ang kailangan yung maintindihan dito is what are the formulas? How do we write them? Regardless of what variable is given to us in the circuit. Okay? So, ito pong formulas that you have in your book of course, follows the diagram given by the lecture manual as well. Now, what do we mean by delta to Y and Y to delta transformation? So, there are cases wherein mahirap isolve yung problem not unless you convert it from one configuration to another. Kasi as you can see here, hindi mo ito masisimplify basta-basta si delta. Diba? Kasi nga, you cannot, um, you cannot identify it to be series or parallel to a circuit. Unlike Y, si Y kasi pag nakabitan mo si B ng another resistor, for example, you already see, diba kung merong, may additional resistor ka dito, you already see that resistor to be in series with Y. So, parang anong nangyari? Yung nakakulong mong configuration, eto, itong closed loop na to, 
we can open that up to become a Y configuration that could be in series to another that could be in series to another part of the circuit ano? or pwede naman baliktad pwede um, you have a Y configuration that you cannot identify to be in series so ang gagawin natin we are going to convert it to delta kasi kung naka delta ka pwede naman itong mag parallel to another parts of the circuit because ito, halimbawa, may nodes ka na connected to B and C, ah, may branch ka connected to B and C, tapos yung part ng Y, kinonvert mo papuntang delta, so yung B and C part, magiging parallel na siya dun sa existing branch connected to B and C as well. So, later on, you'll, go, you'll get to realize them with examples that we have. But for now, let's understand how we make the formulas, okay? So, when you're converting from delta papuntang Y, please note of the terminals A, B, and C, so, between A, B, you have resistor C. Between B, C, you have resistor A. And then, between A, C, you have resistor B. If you are going to convert this papuntang Y, take note of the same terminals. You have their A, B, and C. So, kapag itong delta na to, ni-reconfigure natin para maging Y, when we transform from delta to Y, hindi po nagbabago yung total resistance ng circuit. Ano? Or, you can test you can test resistance as using ohmmet your ohmmeters. Dapat ko anong um, reading ng resistance between A and C. Pag tinransform mo siya papuntang Y, ganun pa rin yung magiging reading ng ohmmeter mo. Ibig sabihin, no effect or no change in resistance, just change in configuration or connection. Okay? Ngayon, so, nung from delta, kinonvert ko siya sa Y, mapapansin nyo na, at terminal A, ito yun, ba? Mawawala na to, mapapaltan siya nito. At terminal A, si resistor X ang nakakabit. And then at node C or terminal C, si resistor Z naman ang nakakabit. And then at terminal B, si resistor Y naman ang nakakonek sa kanya. So how do we get the values of X, Y, and Z? Ang gagawin ko ngayon, I'm going to draw this Y connection papunta dito sa delta using a blue marker para ma-identify nyo. So, etong delta na to, we are going to remove this and replace this with a Y connection. So, let's make a common node here. Yan. So, based here, based on this diagram, this is X, kasi siya yung nakakabit sa node A, and then this is Y, and then this one is Z. Connect, connected to node C. Lalakit ko lang ito. Yan. Okay. Now, Kung galing ka sa delta, gusto mo siyang i-open para maging Y connection siya. Para makuha mo yung resistor X, yung value ng resistance na ikakabit mo kay terminal A, the formula is resistor B times resistor C divided by the sum of the three resistances. But if you're going to notice, based on this diagram, alin ba si BC? Ito si B, ito si C, at ito yung dalawang resistances na umiipit kay resistor X. So yun na lang yung palatandaan natin. To get the value of an equivalent resistor to be connected in Y, kagaya nito, in Y connection, kagaya nito, si resistor X, para makuha mo yung value niya, yung product ng resistors na umiipit sa kanya, divided by the sum of the resistances in delta. Therefore, if I'm going to solve for the value of resistor Y naman, which is connected at node B, that would be, ano yung umiipit kay Y? That would be A and C. So, you'll have their AC over same denominator. Okay, A plus B plus C. And then for resistor Z, that would be, ito yung resistor Z natin. And then if you're going to look, iniipit siya ni A in bit, um, on its sides are A and B. So, that would be A times B divided by same denominator, the sum of all the resistances in delta. Okay. Pag nakuha mo na yun, na-compute mo na yung values, pwede mo nang burahin. Diba? We can erase this part na. Mawawala na sila sa circuit. Mawawala na yung delta connection sa circuit. Ito na yung papalit sa kanya. Y connection. So, magiging ganito yung itsura. Yan. Magiging ganito na yung itsura niya. Okay. Now, if instead you have a Y connection naman, tapos gusto mo siyang i-transform papuntang delta, so, ibig sabihin, magkikrate tayo ng triangle to connect the three terminals, ba? So, you're going to connect A to B. You're going to connect A to B. Let's put a resistor here. You're going to connect B to C. 
And then we're going to connect A to C. And then how are we going to name these resistors? Ayusin pa lang to. Ano natin papangalanan nyo mga resistors natin? So, papangalanan natin, papangalan natin yung resistor base sa ganitong configuration. Kasi dito naka-base yung formula natin. Ano? So, between terminals and AB, you have their resistor C. So, this will be resistor C. Between B and C, you have resistor A. This is resistor A. And between A and C, that would be resistor B. And this is resistor B. Now, if it is Y connected and you're going to convert it to delta, ganito yung itsura niya. Para, mag, para daw makuha natin si resistor A, that would be equivalent to XY plus YZ plus XZ. Diba you have three resistors? So parang combinations lang natin sa engineering data and analysis. You have three resistors taken two at a time. So you get XY, YZ, and XZ. We're going to take the sum of that. Divide that by X. Bakit si X? So if we're going to notice resistor A, Ipiliin mo yung resistor kung saan oppositely connected siya. Or, um, yung resistor na nakakabit sa node kung saan hindi tinatouch ng resistor A. Or, yun nga, opposite. Mas madali yung tandaan. Which is X, di ba? Ito yung katapat ni A. There are cases wherein hindi ganito yung connection. Yung itsura ng connection ni Y. I mean, it's not easy to identify it as Y. If it does not look like Y. Kasi may mga cases we're in. Pwede naman ganito yung Y connection natin, di ba? Nasa circuit sa circuit to nakakabit. Pero, ganito yung connection niya. So, parang it will not be easy for us to identify which are the uh, opposite resistors to A, B, and C na gagawin nating delta if it does not look like this one. So, para madali, ganito ang gagawin nyo. If you are solving for resistor A and resistor A is connected to nodes B and C, ang denominator mo ngayon dito, yung resistor na hindi nakakabit dun sa nodes kung nasaan si A at kung nasaan si A. Diba si A nasa B and C siya? So, ang kukunin mo, node A. Node A, ang nakakabit sa kanya ay resistor X. Okay? So, for uh, resistor B, same numerator, that would be XY, yz plus xz divided by if this is resistor B nakakabit siya sa nodes A and C dun sa hindi niya kinakabitan node B ano yung resistor na nakakabit dun that's resistor Y okay and then you have node C ah sorry resistor C for resistor C same numerator xy plus yz plus xz divided by ano yung opposite resistor ni C that is Z or if resistor C is connected between terminals A, B, you're going to use resist, uh, node C. So, resistor Z tayo dun. Okay. Baka sabihin nyo, pinahira pa ni ma'am, eh, kung hindi pa gawing, kung resistor A, node A, kagaya na sabi ko, hindi pa laging ganito ang pangalan ng nodes kapag nasa circuit na. So, ang kailangan yung tandaan, the manner we are making or writing the formulas that we have. Okay? So, itong mga formula na to, nakabase ito dito sa drawing na to. Ngayon, pag nag-iba yung drawing, nag-iba ang parameter, nag-iba ang variable, of course, you cannot um, copy this as is. Hindi pwedeng ganito pa rin ang itsura ng formula nyo, ba? You have to adjust the formula based on the parameters given. Okay? So, kung delta to y ka, again, you have similar denominators. Tapos, yung numerator mo, product ng mga umiipit na resistor, doon sa resistance na hinahanap mo. Pero kung y to delta ka naman, you have similar, similar numerators naman. Tapos yung similar numerators mo are, um, you have three resistors in a common node taken two at a time. Kunin mo lang yung sum nila. And then divide that by opposite resistor to the resistor you're looking for the delta connection. So kung A to, yung opposite resistor niya, which is X. And then if this is B, yung opposite resistor niya would be Y and so on.